Last year I showed how it is that drug cartels are cutting open this fence with a saw and taking in 46 trucks over an 18 month period filled with marijuana. Nobody caught them, nobody stopped them, despite the fact that we have all the technology, all the lights, and the border patrol station right next door with 400 agents. The cartels don't have to cut the fence anymore. Because now the United States of America is making the holes for them at a time when ISIS and terror networks are working with the drug cartels. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is Dennis Michael Lynch, and uh, you know him from uh, Newsmax TV, of course, and that's from his upcoming documentary, They Come to America 3, and you've been watching uh, 1 and 2 on uh, Newsmax TV, They Come to America 1 and 2, and uh, joining us here in studio is Dennis Michael Lynch. Good to see you. Good to see you, Steve. All right, so um, very exciting that, that uh, 3 is coming out. Of course, you've also uh, done uh, uh, Dick Morris, uh, with a documentary with him about his, uh, his book, Power, Power Grab, Grab, which I, I also enjoy watching. So, but talk about uh, what's going to be in, uh, give us a preview of Ameri Coming to America 3. You know, Steve, I've been doing this for a long time, and President Obama's fundamental transformation is near complete. And so if you take They Come to America 1 and 2, which I think you need to watch in order to really be able to understand right. They Come to America 3, uh, you'll see how it all comes together in the fact that the President has always planned to use immigration to really make that transformation. And most of the time that I have spent has been on the southern border. A good portion of this film is on the northern border, which scares the bejesus out of me because the, the southern border is open, wide open, as we know, and everything's coming through. But we're trying to defend it. I mean, as you just saw there, I mean, you know, how hard are we trying? Yeah. <laughs> the Border Patrol agents are really trying right. hard. The government, not so much. Right. The thing about the northern border is that because there's no emphasis there, it's wide open, and it's an hour and a half away in New York from Montreal. It's two hours away from Ottawa. There are more terror networks operating in Canada than there are in Mexico. Sure. And I have visuals from being up in, on, on the north. I mean, I didn't give them to you here, but I, it just it, it scares the living daylights out of me. Yeah, no, it is very frightening, and uh, we know uh, how dangerous that could be. I mean, no, just about no uh, documentation needed. No, I, I mean, I, I know you go through, you see scenes of people crossing from ca the Canadian border through the toll booths kind of thing, but but that's that's a little tiny portion of it, right? They're a very tiny portion of it. There are border patrol stations along the northern border, which are actually now closed down. And so there are roads that go from Canada to New York. Nobody's there. I mean, we have a scene, it's almost comical, to where we're sitting there knocking on an old Border Patrol station, and nobody's, nobody's there. there. And so uh, the ability to come in, and when you come in, you're right in New York. Yeah. I mean, you're right in New yeah. York. And when you speak to the Canadian people about it, too, they say, look, there's nobody on our side either. So right. when I say there's no Border Patrol on our side, there's nobody on our side, and there's nobody, from, there's nobody on the other side wow. as well. And so when you take, and this is one of the reasons why, you know, I love what Newsmax does. I love what you guys are doing. I love the fact that you take news and that you take uh, films and you're putting them together. You're really educating the people the way I think they want to be educated, whereas maybe some other networks, it's just always the same Hillary email right, story right, right, over right, right. and over again. Yeah. So I, I urge people to go on to Newsmax and watch They Come to America 1 and They Come to America 2 because when you take the education from those two films and the third one that's coming together, you'll really, really understand why it is and how it is that Obama is using immigration as the tool. And of course, Dick Morris's uh, book, Power Grab, as you mentioned, uh, the transformation uh, is almost complete. That spells that out as well. When uh, I spoke to Chris Ruddy, uh, Newsmax CEO and founder, uh, about that book, and I had read that book. The difference about Power Grab versus another Obama book, if you will, is Dick, uh, first of all, Dick is one of the most astute people you ever meet. I mean, he can just take an issue and water it down for you. Yeah. Um, the reason why I decided to do that film for Newsmax is because his book gives a hundred points for somebody like myself or somebody watching at home, what they can do to try to help stop Obama yeah. from making that fundamental trans transition. Yeah. And so that, I mean, if people watch that as well, I know it sounds a little like I'm trying to push no, these things. Yeah, I'm ahead. trying to push them um, because people need to be educated. It's one thing to be told what's going on. It's another thing to be told what you could do about Absolutely. it. My films offer that. 
and so does Power Grab. All right, so again, folks, uh, to make it clear, Dennis Michael Lynch, you could watch him at Newsmax TV. Uh, check out the, uh, the NewsmaxTV.com, and you'll see the schedule, especially on the weekends. You can watch They Come to America 1, They Come to America 2. In April, we'll have uh, the uh, much talked about on this interview, uh, They Come to America 3. And, of course, also uh, airing throughout the weekend is uh, Power Grab with Dick Morris, uh, hosted by Dennis Michael Lynch. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you very much. We're Thank coming back much. with Jonathan Gilliam. Don't go away.